What's going on guys? I want to talk to you about the Rode Video Micro, which retails for around $60 and what Rode calls their compact on-camera microphone. Now taking a look at the back of the box, we see that it has a two-year warranty, it requires no batteries to power, it's compact size, and it includes their Reiko suspension mount. So as we open the box here, the first thing you're going to notice is, um, well, it's a little difficult to get open, <laughs> but other than that, there is, um, the first thing you're going to notice you're going to see is the big uh, dead cat staring right back at you. It's really awesome that they actually included this because, you know, sometimes those can be anywhere from $30 to $40 additional, um, you know, when you're purchasing them separately. So it's a really nice touch that they included it. And as you can see, it's on there pretty snug. I mean, that that's great. You don't want it to, to slip and slide around while you have it recording your audio. All right, so let's put that dead cat off to the side for now. Uh, next up, we have the setup guide, and it's actually just one single fold-out sheet of paper. And, you know, kind of just gives you the directions on how to get this thing set up and started. And uh, off to the races with it. And then here's the cable that you'll use to connect with your video camera, DSLR, compact camera, basically anything other than a phone. I'm an iPhone user myself, so you'll need to grab the dongle that allows you to connect a headphone jack to a lightning port. So now that we've got everything out, let's go ahead and get this all set up here. So right here on the bottom, you can see they have a mount where you can add it to the shoe mount on your camera, or you can even actually attach it to the very bottom, you know, to a boom pole, if you have one of those, which is actually a nice option to have. And if we take a look at the microphone itself, you can see there are these very little grooves on both sides of the mic, and this is where it's actually going to connect the suspension mount. So very simply, start from the front and push it through. Now it's meant to hold this thing really tight and securely, so it may be a bit snug while fitting it. But once you get it on there, it's pretty easy to take off. Now for the suspension system, it has this adjustable bottom for your shoe mount. You just untwist it, and it allows you to easily slide it in on top of the housing. And you know, once you get it set up inside the top part of the mount on your camera, you just uh, you know twist it back down, and it's secure. As for the dead cat, it's totally optional, but if you want to put it on, you just slip it over the front and you want to make sure you hang on to the microphone as the mount does give quite a bit. And finally, we made it to the last step. So like I said, there's no batteries or anything that you need to power the microphone itself. So you're just going to take the included cable and securely attach it to the back of the microphone. And on the other end, you're going to place it inside the microphone adapter of your camera itself. Yeah, so basically I just wanted to demonstrate the audio coming from the three different sources. Um, we have it coming from the onboard mic from the, the Canon 70D. I'm going to have it coming from the Video Mic Pro. And then I'm going to have it coming from the Video Mic Pro with the, um, the dead cat on top. So this is obviously what it sounds like um, with just the onboard mic from the Canon 70D. This is the audio quality coming from the, um, the Video Mic Pro without the dead cat. And this is the audio coming from the uh, video mic pro with the dead cat attached. So that's pretty much all I have for you guys. So please leave a comment down below and let me know if you're gonna be picking one up, if you already own one, and what you thought of the audio quality. Also, if you guys found this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you guys in the next one.